Hello everyone. Now we will start with our next debugging exercise or challenge. Now this is the program. Whenever I am executing the program, we have an option to pass single input to this program. I am passing sales document number one. And whenever I'm clicking on to execute button, this program is not giving any output. We need to identify the reason or we need to identify the bug why, why this program is not giving the output. Now, firstly, if I will see this program, in this program, we are fetching data from two tables, VBAK and VBAP. Firstly, individually check that table because the first thing is I gave input one. Is the input one is in the table or not? So firstly, I will go to VBAK table. In this table, I will give the input 1. So yes, input 1 is in VBAK table. Now after that, I will check VBAP table also. Because yes, VBAP is item table. So in this table also, if I will go to contents and put same to same input because VBELN is common between both the tables. So we have VBAP, VBELN, one is also in the second table. Now we need to identify why, why this program is not giving the output. So firstly, our program should be active. After that, only we can debug the program. We can identify the error at the runtime. So I will put a breakpoint and we all know we can put a breakpoint on executable statement. I will put a breakpoint. Parallelly, we will run the program and check the data of the table and program both parallel. I'm running the program. I will give the sales document number one and I'm executing. Desktop three, most preferable desktop. Now input is on the right hand side, but the input we gave one. I just double click on to this parameter and the input is one. Now in this query, we are fetching data from VBAK table for these four columns based upon what based upon VBELN is equal to one. Input is on the right hand side. So VBELN is equal to 1. If I will go to VBAK table, what is the value of VBELN? 1, 1. And for how many columns you are fetching the data? 4 columns. So we will take these 4 columns only. How to take these 4 columns in the output? It is already covered in, the, in terms of data browser. You can check data dictionary and the topic is their data browser. If I want to see the data of selected column only, I will go to settings, formal list, choose fields. I will deselect. And what are the four columns? VBELN, ERDAT, ERZET, ERNA. VBELN, ERDAT, ERZET, ERNA apply. I'll go for OK. So this is the data of four column. So our program also should give same to same data. Now this is one line in SAP. I'm doing F6. You can see size sub RC 0, 0. It means 
this query successfully processed if i will double click on to this internal table because data came into this internal table we have one record and four number of columns i will double click just see is everything correct one one 25 date 25 date 148 yes it is in different format no problem with that we shall are we shall are. it means up to this level there is no problem in the program is size sub rc zero zero yes it means our first query processed successfully this if condition is true whenever i will i want to execute this line I will do what F6, F6. Now, now I am on 35 number type. On 35 to 39, this is one line. We are fetching data from which table? VBAP table. And what is the input for VBAP table? Right hand side. First internal table VBELN. What is there in first internal table VBELN? 1, 1. It means VBELN is equal to 1. It will act as an input for which table? VBAP table. If I will go to VBAP table, what is the input? 1. And we want, we are fetching data of how many columns? 3 columns. VBELN, Postna, Magdena. So I will go for settings, formal list, choose fields. I will deselect VBELN, Postna, Magdena. If I will execute, this same to same thing should come from our program now. I'm executing this query using f6 key firstly i will double click on lt data 2 it has zero records because this query has not processed yet i am doing f6 now you can see one record is in the internal table and size sub rc is also zero it means this particular query also executed successfully if I will open this internal table, you can see same to same thing is there. It means there is no problem with the query part, query part. Up to this level, program is working fine, perfectly fine. Now I will come on to this loop part. It means this area has a problem, this area. Now, I will firstly double click on first internal table and I will double click on second internal table. Now, on 44 number line, we are moving the first record from internal table to work area. Anyways, loop will continue one time because internal table has how many record? One record. So, whenever I will firstly show you work area. Work area blank. Whenever I will execute this, the record from the internal table will go to work area. If you see the work area, the record from the internal table, this internal table, this internal table, move to what? Move to work area. Okay. Now, up to this level also, everything is fine. Size sub rc, zero. Now, we are putting a loop on second internal table. Yes. Loop will continue how many times? One time. What is the where condition? Where? VBELN means VBELN of second internal table is equal to just see is equal to 
this work area VBELN input always pass from where right to left. Just see what is in this work area VBELN. It is blank. Now just see in this internal table, do we have a blank VBELN? No, we have the value one. Now we are passing, we are telling that, okay, the second loop, just what is the input for the second loop? LWA data to VBELN. What is LWA data to VBELN? It is blank. VBELN is equal to blank in this internal table. Do we have VBELN is equal to blank? No. If I will simply, simply execute this, have you seen psi sub RC is 4? It means this loop failed and write statement is inside this loop. That's why we are not getting the output at all. It means this 45 number line has a problem, has a problem. And what is the problem? Your first work area VBELN is a input for the second internal table. Just see, you move the data to first work area. So first work area VBELN is a input for second internal table. By mistake, we put the which work area, second work area. The second work area VBELN is blank. Now, whenever this line executed, we pass the sales document number to first work area. Based upon first work area VBELN, we need to put a loop on second internal table. And this is the mistake. Why? Why it is not reading? So I will come out through F8 key. Now what I will do, I'll simply, simply change it to first work area VBELN. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Now I will again put a breakpoint and show you. Now there is no need to put a breakpoint on these queries. Yes, because they are successfully I also change the code here. It will also execute successfully. So I'll show you from here itself. So you can put a breakpoint, put a cursor, put a breakpoint, run. I'm giving sales order number one. I'll go to desktop three. Whenever this line will execute, first record move to work area. What is first work area VBELN? What is first work area VBELN? It is one. Just see, what is first work area VBELN? It is one. So VBELN is equal to one, one. In this internal table, it will check. Do we have a VBELN one? Yes, we have the VBELN one. So it will read this particular record. So whenever this particular record will read from the internal table, this record will go to work area. Now you can see size sub bar C0 and write statement executed. Anyways, inner loop has one record. So loop will continue one time. Outer loop has also one record. So it will also continue one time and we have the expected out. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we took the debugging challenge that by mistake, we are because if we are not clear about coding, we will blindly write any work area, but that is not true at all. We should pass the right, right work area name. In this example, our VBELN is going to first work area. So that will act as an input for the second internal table. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.